Hi, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge, and today I've got a treat for you guys. This is my 2016 Best Of under $15 US. I've got 16 knives that I chose here. I just quickly grabbed them, um, double check the prices on them. Um, some of the knives that I would like to have in here, I've already either sold them on or given them away or whatever. So these are the knives, uh, the 16 that I currently still have in my possession that I purchased in 2016 that I paid less than $15.01. So $15 or less. And I'm going to choose my top few out of these 16. So let's get started. Number one, this is the G704 from Ganzo. This green one. I got for under 15 bucks. I have a recent re video review on the G704. So there's that first one from Ganzo. Also from Ganzo, here is the G727. Um, a number of different variations. I've gotten the orange one and the camo one, and I got this wooden one for under $15. Looks a lot like the uh, uh, Ontario knife. Really good. I like these an awful lot. The access lock is great on these. Great action. This is the G729, also with an access lock and a little choke up choil right there. A nice knife that uh, works quite well. What? Get out there. Um, feels good in the hand. The 729. This one. I bought, I'm, I'm just fudging the rules just a little bit. The one that I paid under $15 for has the orange scales. I don't have that one any longer. So this one's sitting in its place. I hope that's fair. Of course it's fair, it's my show. <laughs> Here is the 732. And it's got a very unique kind of style um, handle there with this, you know, back here. Uh, for, you can have a really far back grip if you're going to be doing, you know, a little bit of chopping something small, something gentle, you know, not too heavy. Or you can get all the way up to a grip that's right up there, one of those half and half grips like that last knife we just saw. Very much like the other knife, uh, tip up carry, just like those others are. Um, the 720, uh, 732, that's what this one is. Believe it or not, I got this knife, the 738, for under $15. This knife is really cool. I like this, this texture that they put in the G10 right there. The blade looks really cool. It's, it's almost like a spear point. It's not quite equal on both sides, but you've got this swedge on the top on this drop point, and then you've got a nice belly and a nice big flat area right there. And they put the uh, sharpener's choil right up to the end so you can sharpen right to the end and keep this thing looking nice. You've got the choice of tip up carry left and right, access lock only, sorry, tip up carry only. <laughs> There's no tip down option. And the access lock is good. We've also got this knife, the 743, one of Ganzo's few flippers. This one, I can't always get it to flip because the detent's not quite Good enough. I've got the same one in black, but I paid a little more for the black one. And it flips a little bit better. Its detent is just a little bit better. You know, if I do a little bit of uh, hand action and stuff with it, I can get it to uh, flip. But uh, that's if I leave it tight enough so that there's no blade play anyway. I could loosen it up so there's loads of blade play and I could flick it out, no problem. But blade centering is quite good at this tension and everything, and I can just sometimes <laughs> three in a row. What is it? There we go. Do it that way. Very stabby knife. Okay, so those are the Ganzos. Let's move on to five knives, five knives from San Ranmu that I'd like to cut cover. This is the 7076. I did a video review on this one recently. It comes in the orange or in the blue. I've only got the orange one. It's a little flipper knife. The flipping action is smooth as hot butter. Uh, liner lock locks up really nice. 
a very sharp knife on, uh, blade on there. They did a good job. Windrunner design, very nice little knife. And it's easy, easy to make this thing flip. No problem at all. All right, um, let's put that one down here. Here's another liner lock that I like. This guy is the ultimate box cutter. <laughs> it is a unique knife indeed, and I really, really enjoy this knife. I EDC it a fair bit as my secondary knife. Um, I usually carry a larger knife and a smaller knife, and uh, this one's just so unique, and it's so great. I really, really like it. I keep it in the tip down position. You've got the option for tip up. Uh, tip down, it just rides a little bit deeper and I just don't see the need for tip up. Uh, it doesn't take me that much longer to take a knife out. The sharpness is really good. The, the options that you have of what you can do with this knife because of that, um, that blade shape at the tip there, very, very nice. I paid, that's aluminum scales. And then it's got this little set of tools right there too, and a glass breaker. Very, very unique. We've got this one. I've not done a review on this yet. This is the 7045. I've been carrying this one an awful lot and I don't know why I've not done the review yet. It's a uh, multi-tool, a glass breaker, uh, a nice big belly on this blade, a very tiny bit of a recurve there. Nice steel, very, comes very sharp, good jimping, and this texture is like a golf ball kind of texture on here, except for a little more accentuated than on a golf ball. Fits in the hand really, really well. Good grip, good purchase. I like this knife a lot. Lockup is really good on this liner lock. Um, let's go to a couple slip joints. This is the 9052, one of uh, San Moo's largest knives. It's got some jimping on the top there, you know, sharpener's toil, nice piece of steel for a blade. It's a Liang Gang design. Liang Gang does a lot of the knives for real steel, uh, which is a subsidiary of San Ren Mu. Uh, this one's also a multi-tool, uh, the same way you've got the can opener and the strap cutter, belt cutter kind of thing. Glass breaker with a tungsten, tungsten tip. You know, just like these two also have a tungsten tip on the glass breaker. I like this knife a lot. I just wish that the detent on holding it open was a little bit stronger. I don't believe I've done a review on this knife yet either, an official review. Um, the only option because of the multi-tools is tip down carry, but it's quite a deep tip down carry. And the third San Ranmu that I'm showing out this time is another slip joint. Um, that I've done a review of quite recently with all these holes, so I won't talk too much. It's not really a flipper, although you can get it to flip if you do it just right. You have to give it a little bit of hand action and, you know, to help it out to open up. A lot of belly on this blade, really, really nice. It's quite a secure, safe knife because of this uh, finger protector here, so even if you do un uh, slip the joint, it'll crash into your initial your index finger, initial finger, index finger, and won't close on your hand. Really nice knife, I like it a lot. What else do we have? We've got this Kershaw. <laughs> yes, this is the Injection 3.5 at Knife Works. I don't know if they still have it at that price or not, but this is a really good knife on for $14.95 or something, $14.99 that I bought it for just recently, G10, uh, really nice work on it. Um, I won't go on too much about this knife. I just did a review recently of this knife. The Injection 3.5 by Kershaw. Check it out. Go to knifeworks.com and get this knife. I almost never say that about anything. Um, the 3.0 is like $13 if you want something a little bit smaller. Otherwise, it looks identical. We've got an Enland knife. This one's an older one. It still has the B um, branding on it. This is the L02, a very deep carry tip down clip, 8CR13 MOV. I don't think I've done a review on this knife yet. Jumping up here, feels really good in the hand. It just fits and fills up my large size hand. I like this a lot. A little bit bigger, we've got the EL10, 
I like this white and black G10 on here. It's pretty thick and hefty, it's kind of rounded. They've done some skeletonizing on it, um, full flat grind. And you've got tip down only carry and it's not even that very deep of a carry. It looks nice though. We've also got the EL04. This is my Carta scales. Uh, the EL04 with G10 scales just came in just over $15 for me. It's got access lock on it. Um, heavy duty blade. It's, it's pretty hefty there and it stays thick until just before it comes down to the point. Um, as you can see there, good looking knife. I like this knife a lot. I do have a repair video on it where I fixed the, uh, or made a, a big adjustment to the access lock on this knife. And finally, the EL01. It comes with wooden scales. You can get it with G10 scales. Uh, and this knife is in my top three. I just have to tell you right off the bat. And that's why I saved it for last. This knife um, looks nice. You know, I really wish they would have put a sharpness choil in it though. But it's just the general look of this knife and the feel in the hand that I like so much. That's why I had a custom pouch made for this knife and a 70-10 two-in-one pouch flipper. You know, not all of them flip uh, reliably right from the factory. You have to do a little bit of work to them. And the detent is why they don't all flip that great, but they flip pretty good. Flat grind, like a Scandi grind, fills the hand really nice. This is my winner in the under 15 category. What's my second choice? Well, my second choice is this Kershaw right now, the Injection 3.5. Uh, you've got to get this knife if you don't have one yet. And I'm doing a top three. My third choice is this knife right here. The uh, 38, 738. I don't know how I got it for that price, but it was sitting there at GearBest at this price, and I really, really like this knife. This shape back here with a, a little bit of a, a rise in the back and a, you know, a belly in here in the handle, this milling out of the G10 here just feels really, really good in the hand. This is a really good EDC working knife. It just does a great job, and you can do a lot of slicing, a lot of cutting, um, whatever kind of cutting you want to do. Uh, it's got a fine enough tip there that you can use it for puncture work. It's a really, really nice knife. The, the thumb studs are far enough back so they don't interfere when you're slicing. I really like this knife an awful lot. So that's my top three. But I want to give an honorable mention, and that is to this knife right here. The uh, 7046 is just so unique and so special. Um, that uh, I really, really like this knife an awful lot. And I, like I said before, I carry it a lot. Uh, if you don't have one of these knives and you like having knives that are a bit unique, a bit different from the run of the mill, uh, check out this Liang Gang design knife. And if you like Liang Gang, go check out Real Steel while you're at it. So there you go. Those are my three dot knives and one honorable mention, but all of these knives are very good. Um, the bottom of the grouping for this is, I would put NLAN at the bottom. They're not consistent with their quality. Even though I picked this knife as my number one. And, you know, it's they just did a, just a bang up job on this one. NLAN does need to do a little bit of improving with their quality control. So there you have these knives. Uh, any one of them is great. I don't think you can get most of these for $15 right now today, but I got them for that in 2016. And if you comment in the comment section below, <clears throat> share this video with somebody somehow. Send them an email, uh, Facebook, uh, tweet, tweet it, any kind of social media, email, whatever. Share this video with somebody. Tell me that you've shared it. You don't have to tell me how or anything. So like the video, share the video with somebody somehow, be a subscriber, and make sure you comment that you shared it. And you will be in for a draw in seven days after I post this video, I will do a draw 
and you will win one of my under $15 knives. Sorry, I'm not buying you a brand new one. I'm going to give you one of mine that's in brand new condition. And uh, you can even tell me which one or two of your top ones that you'd like to have. We'll see. I can't guarantee which one I'm going to give you, um, but I'll give you one. It won't be one of these 704s. I'm not breaking up my collection. <laughs> I've got all the 704s except for one still, and I'm not giving any of those away. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being part of Canadian Cutting Edge. It's been a great year. Remember, always cut towards your chum and not your thumb.